Jennifer Anderson's latest book is My Brother's Wedding, and Holly Gilliatt's latest book is Love Insight. You'll be able to meet them both at the upcoming local author signing at Barnes & Noble on April 22nd. Welcome to the show. We'll meet you here first, right here mm -hmm. at STL TV. So Holly and Jennifer, you guys were here a few months ago mm -hmm. with other books, and you're just whipping them out, mm -hmm. although I'm sure it didn't happen that way. You're probably, <laughs> these were exactly. well in, in motion, mm -hmm. or if not done, uh, when you were promoting your, la your last books before right. these. So, um, you know, one of, the things, one of the things I love about you guys is you're right here in St. Louis, and we've got more authors coming up on our next segment who are also right here in St. Louis. And, um, and you write about St. Louis, mm -hmm. too, in mm -hmm. your novels, yes. right? Mm -hmm. So, Jennifer, tell us about My Brother's Wedding. It is a sweet contemporary romance, which is a little different than what I normally do. I normally do young adult, um, but it's set here in St. Louis, has a couple of my favorite places, um, places that I went to when I was getting married. Um, and it, the boy next door, sweet love story. And your intended audience, you typically write for younger audience, yes. but this would be for young, or, 20s, 30s? Yes. I mean, the, the characters themselves are just out of college, probably about a year. So, and it's it's labeled a contemporary romance, but it's not very steamy. It's, it's doors are closed and it's very sweet. So, yeah. So it's appropriate. Yes. <laughs> yes. For all yes. audiences. Mm -hmm. Very good. So, um, can I ask what some of the places are that your favorites yes. are mentioned? Um, well, Blue Stein's Bride House downtown, which is mm -hmm. where I got my gown. I love that place. Um, the women in there just are funny and then um, a coffee house that's a favorite always a favorite of mine uh, Mocha Bees on Grand oh yeah so we do have a, a scene there so it's very exciting and it kind of takes place a little more towards West County where they live but they do travel to downtown so and then there's fictitious places but yeah. and I think it's fun um, to read a book that features places that you go to yourself mm -hmm. you know, that we as the reader mm -hmm. so Holly tell us about your latest my latest love in sight um, it's about a guy Jason he's a high school history teacher and he's really good looking and funny and smart and charming but he's also blind which is a pretty big roadblock yeah. he's finding out trying to find that happily ever after uh, but it's not real syrupy or maudlin it's there's a lot of humor in it yeah. um, and you know really ultimately I think it's it's really just more about that we all bring baggage to the table mm -hmm. and what what are people willing to do to, you know, uh, what are you willing to sacrifice or put up with for somebody that you love? Yeah, in a book like that where your central character has a disability, mm -hmm. how do you as a writer learn what's really going on for somebody who is blind in this case? Well, you know, I did a ton of research. Mm -hmm. um, I hope I got somewhere close to the mark. Mm -hmm. um, I let, read a lot of memoirs, um, a lot of forums, blog posts, things like that. Um, and one of the hardest things as a writer was when it's in his point of view is the fact that I couldn't use visual detail, so that made it kind of difficult. Yeah, so you really have to kind of get inside the head of somebody mm -hmm. who's blind yeah. and, and learn what their world is like and how right. they would describe their, mm -hmm. their world. So do you, are you using local um, places like yes. you've done in your books? Yeah, I sure mm -hmm. do. Um, yeah, it's almost all exclusively set in St. Louis. There's a trip that they take, but other than that, it's all in St. Louis, and I talk about Katy Trail and, you know, other places, and again, uh, like Jen, places that I like to go or I frequent. Yeah. So Jennifer um, and Holly, I know this applies to you as well. You both have um, have day jobs, so to speak, where you're working, and then you're trying to fit writing in with kids and everything else that goes along with that. What, how do are you, how do you find inspiration to write, and when do you find it, Jennifer? Um, I'm used to write typically at night. Then I I have almost a two year old now, so when she goes out for a nap, that's usually when I can get time to write. Um, but yet I still find myself getting ready to go to bed and inspiration just hits and I'm up until probably midnight scribbling notes or writing something really quick. Um, it is difficult because with three kids and uh, working at home part time, it's hard to find that, that little time to, but my family is really supportive and they let me, you know, mom's busy, don't bother her. I put this invisible wall around <laughs> me, so. <laughs> yeah, that's tough. And, yes. you know, to keep up that motivation, Holly, what about you? Do you have any words of wisdom advice for other writers? And Just similar? cram it in when you can. You know, I, I like to think that I can get on a consistent schedule, but most of the time not. So I just, when I can, and sometimes, you know, I can write a ton at once, and maybe I don't write again for a week. Mm -hmm. um, I prefer to do it daily. But you know, if you can't get that squeezed in, then you just do when you can and yeah. you know, work around everything. So our viewers can meet you two in person along with several other local mm -hmm. authors next Tuesday night, April 22nd yep. at um, the Barnes & Noble in Ladue. Mm -hmm. So a great place to come and talk to you, see all your books, which we have all of the, a lot of them mm -hmm. feature right here, but we can um, just great books, um, paperbacks. People can come in and just buy them all and get them mm -hmm. autographed, right? Mm -hmm. So, and then you've got a separate signing coming. Yeah. 
coming yes. up April 26th in St. Charles? Right, at Main Street Books. Okay, Main Street. So lots of opportunities um, to meet these local authors um, in between everything else that they're doing. I don't know how you guys <laughs> can manage it. It's a lot. So April 26th at 11 a.m., Holly Gilliatt will be holding a book signing hosted by Main Street Books. You can visit her website at hollygilliatt.com. Sorry, I keep saying Gilliatt. Gilliatt <laughs> for more details. Holly and Jennifer will be leaving us in just a minute. Don't forget to um, Tuesday the 22nd and in Ladue as well. We're going to be joined in just a minute by Christina McKenzie and Robin Tidwell. Also local authors, stay tuned to STL TV Live. We'll be right back.